It's on 93 Boxing. I'm back with a quick video. Kell Brook um, lost his title against Errol Spence. Now, credit to both fighters. I don't want to talk too much shit about Kell Brook. I think Kell Brook's a terrific fighter. I think Errol Spence is a terrific fighter. Um, they're both are terrific. The thing is, this is what I want to say. But well, congratulations to Errol Spence, first of all. He did... Overall, he did pretty much what I said he should do to win. Kelbrook did some of the things that I felt like he should do to win. Some of the things. He did back up Errol Spence using his jab and um, his right hand. His right hand was on point at time. when he Not actually, not all the time, but it was on point for a lot of times. He threw a few nice uppercuts and some left hooks and shit. It was really good. It was really good. And... Um, Errol Spence got tested. He's not this invincible guy that people think he is. Not to say that he will be beat by anyone at 147 now. But he's not an invincible guy. He's beatable. But the question is, who is he beatable by? I mean, Kell Brook's a highly skilled fighter. See, for someone to beat Errol Spence, he needs to be a highly skilled fighter. He needs to have great counters. He needs to be strong. He needs to have a good jab. He needs to be able to have some speed, move around well. But at the same time, have a lot of heart. Just tough, probably good chin as well. Good ability to take punches to the body. And that living is Keith Thurman already. <laughs> I mean, you know, so you think, who who can he beat? Okay, look, look at Danny Garcia, right? Actually, no, forget, I'll make that another video. Fuck it. Let's look at what Kelbrook, Kelbrook didn't do well. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, but he kept his hands low. And, you know, Kale Brook's eye is apparently fucked up. And I think it is. I think it is fucked up because it kind of swelled up. His left eye, I believe, was, was swell, swelling up in a way that was similar to the Triple G uh, eye. So I don't want to say he quit. Because if your eye gets fucked up, right, you're playing with your life now. You're playing with your life if your eye gets fucked up. Because just imagine, yeah. Kelbrook is apparently saying, and I'm on, I'm only gonna take his word for it because I don't know how true or false that is. But you can only take his word for it. And plus, by the looks of things, I feel like he has an injury on his eye. I don't want to say he quit for that, but I feel like he still quit, even though he, even though I'm not discrediting him for taking a knee and just kind of quitting. And, oh, I don't know, man. Let's see. You know why I think he quit? Because in about round seven, he kept his hands low and shit. Like, he didn't even bother. He was getting caught, and he still wouldn't keep his hands low. He was just trying to dodge it and shit. It's like he could have done it better with his defense. He did gas out, but you can still keep your hands up. I mean, you know, gassing out, but keeping your hands up and blocking some shots is better than... Gassing out and then getting hit with them shots. What the fuck? Dig a bit deeper and defend yourself. He kind of gave up in there. I feel like what happened is he has never fought good level oppositions on a consistent basis until now. And then it's like it kind of mentally took something out of him. You know, um, I kind of questioned a recent video I made. I kind of questioned his heart a little bit. I kind of question his heart just a little bit, you know. Um, see, I feel like Kelbro kind of fought on with the eye, just like he fought on against Triple G with the eye. So I don't like to say that he has no heart, but the thing is, like, um, he he kind of gave up. And to me, from what I've seen, he kind of gave up. At times, he tried to come back, and when he did come back, when he landed him shots. It was. It looked phenomenal. When Kelbrook throws, it looks phenomenal. But he kind of quit like halfway through the fight. If he did get injured, right, which he, I think he did, then it doesn't... I don't consider that like a bad quit. Yeah, you quit because your eye is fucked up. It's fine. That's fine. But I feel like he quit. Either way, man, Errol Spence gets all the credit. He should get the credit for beating a really good fighter. I don't like to... Do I think Kelbrook's a... You know, I don't think Kelbrook... I don't see... I, don't, I shouldn't see Kelbrook as a quitter because Kelbrook fucked up his eye pretty early in the Triple G fight. He never quit. You could say he did, but... If your eye is fucked up, man... 
I don't know. I could be wrong in this, man. I know H1 he made some videos. I didn't really look at it, but I, maybe I should when I have time. Shout out to H Money, by the way. Um, I just think that he kind of quit when in round seven, where he should have put his hands up. Like your title's on the line, right? I know you're getting tagged and shit, but damn, you t you chose to take the fight. You chose to not give your title away. Put your fucking hands up. I mean, look, Kelbrook. I feel like is more skilled than Errol Spence. Overall, I think he's more skilled. Um, but it's, it was this. I mean, I said this in my prediction, right? It's, what I'm worried about is the inactivity. Like, of in the ring. Kelbrook, Errol Spence is very active in the ring. And um, Kelbrook, at times, he, he looks phenomenal. But people, some people that pick Kelbrook, which I also did, by the way. Some people that pick Kelbrook easily, which I didn't. I picked Kelbrook, but not easily. They only look at when Kelbrook looks spectacular. And yeah, when Kelbrook does throw, he looks spectacular. He look out, he outdone... Whenever he threw, he outdid Errol Spence spectacularly. But the thing is, when he didn't throw, which is a lot of the times he didn't throw, he didn't defend. It was like he he kind of fights nervous and almost, I don't know, man. It's such a shame, man. And, you know, his eye might have been fucked up. I guess some people were just built like that, like their head structure and shit. You know, some fight, fighters don't have a good, that much of a good chin. Some fighters just, their they've skull is like that. Their face is like that. It's natural. Um, Kelbrook should be careful. Because, you know, I think this is the other eye. It's not the eye from the Triple G fight. If he's saying it's the eye from the Triple G fight, then I don't I, mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's the other, it's the eye from the Triple G fight that's actually broken. But the other eye just swell up but to be honest the eye if the eye from the triple g fight was also like broken again the eye should swell up like it did in the triple g fight and it didn't not as much at all it was the other eye it was the uh the left eye i would say yeah this in this fight was the left eye so yeah that's really all i would like to say um maybe kelbrook did quit because he did because it sounded like I don't know, man. It sounded like, from what they were saying, that Kell broke the eye issue started coming back. But the eye issue started coming back, then it must have happened to the same eye, but it didn't look like it happened on the same eye. It really didn't. And, uh... But either way, man, if Kell got that fucked up eye, I wish him nothing but the best in recovering. Kell made some money... And I think he look if this sort of things happen, you, when you, you even if your eye is broken and shit, you're playing with your life in there. This guy broke your fucking face and like he might break your face even more. You know, all it takes is one punch on a broken face to make it even worse. Am I right? So you know, look at the end of the day, we like to see fighters get through it, not quit, no matter what. We compare Muhammad Ali. Oh, he he had a broken jaw. He never quit. Muhammad Ali was something else, man. I would never look. Fuck it. I would never. If my eye was fucked up like that. I would quit one hundred percent unless it's like this guy, who ruined my life or my family's life and shit. And I, yeah, then I'll fight for it. But otherwise, man, fuck all that. Don't ruin your life. Just because of some fans. These fans won't be there if you fucked up your whole health. Your health should come first. But so you know if Brooke did fuck up his eye, if he did, then hey, it's the right move to make. And uh, if he didn't, then I guess he quit. He kind of quit already in round seven in my. But then again, he kind of like he was contemplating quitting. I guess that's what he was doing, because he was coming back at times. And um, I'm gonna look for it again and make up my opinion better because I'm all over the place in this video. <laughs> But it was a great fight. Kelbrook did well initially. Earl Spence came back. Um, I did say if Kelbrook wins, it'd be like... If he wins by a knockout, it'd be like early. If Earl Spence uh, wins, chances are it's more of a knockout. And it'd be late, which it was late. And uh, I'm not surprised, man. Uh, Errol Spence is a really good fighter. He was getting his ass beat, though, initially. And... I'm imp I'm impressed by both fighters in terms of ability, but I don't know what to say about the 
injuries, a lot of things like how come the injury is coming back when it's at a different eye and um, yeah, things like that. But I'm a son to be boxing. I'm out.